My biggest issue is that they cannot bark when we're at home. Too many people, they have the letter from the lawyer, they have to move from the apartment. No barking. No barking, girls. Honey, we have to keep them quiet. No. I would get them debarked because I was already on no. that. Oh, this very... problem that makes us the lose our apartment, makes the problem between me and her, do you know? And then somebody told me about debarking your dog. Debarking is cruel, it's abusive. You're cutting a dog's vocal cord and taking away its ability to communicate. And that's one of the reasons why most veterinarians in this country do not do it. It's less invasive than having, the, than having them spayed or neutered. Imagine. It's like taking a person and going, you know what? I've had enough of you talking. Boom, Boom. Yeah. that's it. Let's yeah. clip a vocal cord of yours so that you can be quiet. She wants to debark him, but is a, I don't want to do it. Debarking should be made illegal. I haven't done a lot of research on it, but I can't be kicked out of my, my home because my dogs bark. So I have to do something. I know I'm not seeing a true picture of their normal behavior. So I need to see Beanie and Munchkin in the apartment for myself. <laughs> All dogs can bark very loudly, but the two Maltese, their bark is very, very high pitched. We did have someone tell us to shut them up yesterday. Oh, day did before, you? Yeah, the day before yeah, yesterday. Yeah. yeah, they were really bad out there. We are in New York City. It's true we can have a dog, but it's not the dog doesn't have to bark. They can kick us out of our apartment. For this one, I'm so upset. Whenever the doorbell rings, there's a change of energy in the room. There's an expectation. Dogs feed off this change of energy and react accordingly. The barking is a real issue with your dogs, certainly when they hear the doorbell ring. So what I want to teach them is that, yes, they can bark three or four times. But when I say thank you, I give them that vocal cue and the hand signal, mm -hmm. they're quiet. Two things are going to happen. One the dogs are going to get desensitized to the sound of the bell. So when the bell actually does ring, it's no big deal. Two, the dogs are going to have a ritual of behavior established about what they do when the doorbell rings. These dogs have had a long habit of barking. All their lives they've barked, mm -hmm. especially Beanie. Mm -hmm. So this could take a while. Thank you. And then I'm going to treat them. Good. Thank you. Good girls. Uh, you learn. <laughs> Both of you need to learn, Before not just her. Have to learn. Yeah, you I do. Know, Don't, we, did you look have, at her? We all have no, to learn. He did. Learn. <laughs> all right. I'm going to walk towards the door and do it. Thank you. Good girls. Dogs watch us more than they listen to us. So to have a really clear hand signal that gives the dog a cue to be quiet is really going to help. I stationed someone outside the door to ring the bell so I could show Max and Tamara the technique in action. Thank you. Good girls. Good girls. Very good girls. Very good girls. They were quiet. They didn't bark in too much and they are responding. They are, is a good response for now. So now I want you to do this. Let's have the doorbell ring again, you take over. I want Beanie and Munchkin to listen to Tamara now, not because they're fearful of her, but because they respect her. Thank you. Yes, good girls. Go over to the door. Good girls. Good, come back, tell them good girls. Good girls, good girls, yes. I don't think that it's difficult at all. Once you learn it and you think about it, it's common sense. That was just a reality check for me. No debarking. I think, Max, with you, they're gonna, they're gonna react a little bit differently when you get up and go, okay? Okay. I'm gonna give you these two treats and let's have the doorbell ring. Thank you. Thank you. Do, do the thank you like that. So I want you to stand up and say 
Thank you. Always That's stand the up. hand signal, okay? Thank you. I'm so upset because they don't listen to me. Thank you. The dogs are so attached to Max and they want all the love and affection, but when he asks them to do anything, they actually don't listen to him. So this training could be really difficult for him to get through. Sit down again because she's barking at you. Take your eyes away from her. Good. See, I told you it was going to be different when you do it. I was holding myself back. I wanted to get up and say no, like this. Thank you. Let's have the doorbell ring again. Thank you. Sit down again. Thank you. Sit down again. Max thought that it was Tamara that needed to learn everything, but I think he now sees how he has to learn just as much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sit down again. Max is a bit of a pushover with the dogs. That has to change immediately as of today. We are going to be practicing these methods together until they're not going to get up and bark at the door. Thank you. She did. Oh, darn. Darn. She, she did. She, she, that was really good. That was good. But you've got to be in there. With the at that moment. Okay, yep. Yeah. Ring the doorbell again. Thank you. Treat her. Good girl. Good girl. Nice. Good. Good girls. I think Max is finally learning that if he doesn't give in and he just stays firm and unemotional, the dogs begin to listen to him and to sort of open the door and look out. Good. Tell the girls, good girls. Good girls. Yeah, now good you can girls. make a fuss of them. Good girls. Now you can make a real fuss good of them. Girls. I think Max did pretty good today. I think he did. He really did pay attention to Victoria. Good girl, good girl. Good girls, yay, good girl. I cannot believe it. Since Victoria left us, Max and I have really found a common ground now and we really work hard together with the dogs. Let me just see where it's Good girl. Thank you. Beanie and Munchkin, they are very calm. More calm than the before. Hey. Thank you. Yes. Good girl. It's working. It's working. Yes, that's good, good girl. girl. Yes. Yay. Good girl, Beanie. Yeah. Good girl, Munchkin. But I think she has a foot that doesn't want to come off. Good girls, no barking. That was perfect. Yes. It's been a gradual, you know, calming thing for me because it didn't happen right away. We had to really work hard on the dogs to get them to stop barking at the doorbell. But right now, it's much better. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.